I'm here at LA County Raceway. Yeah, LA County Raceway with uh, Jack and Anthony Barbacovi. Um, we're all super excited because we're going to do our 450 shootout here today um, before the track opens to the public. But man, great news that LA County is back. Yeah, we're really excited about it. It took us four years since we shut down to get, get it back together. And, uh, and Anthony is going to actually be the, the man in charge. He's going to be running the track. I'm getting too old. <laughs> so Anthony, uh, when can we expect the uh, grand opening or is there like a big kickoff race or something planned? Uh, yeah, we're looking to do something probably about the middle, uh, middle to beginning of December. You know, uh, we don't want to step on Kenny's event at all, you know, take away any of his luster. But no, we're looking about uh, beginning of December, hopefully have some a big kickoff race and we're going to be doing some open practices before then and private rentals and that kind of stuff. Okay, so four years ago this place closed down because the county wanted to mine it, is that correct? Uh, what were they? Well, Why actually, did they... It was, actually, it was granite wanted to mine out the property that we were on. And uh, since then, obviously, it's it's all mined out. We're 70 feet lower than what, what we were four years ago. Yeah. And uh, granite actually invited us back. And uh, so here we are. We, we, we decided we wanted to do it. We we're kind of excited about it. And, and, yeah. uh, and uh, we're going to get going. So... Um, when you guys closed down for the mining, was it in the back of your head that they might be done in a few years and you guys might be back? Uh, no. When we were closed down last time, it was for good. And, uh, you know, luckily they, uh, they got a new manager in and he, he's a big dirt bike rider, so he's excited. And he kind of was kicking around the idea and I brought it up to him and he was like, yeah, you know, I see what we can work with. So uh, they've been really supportive. They've, you know, helped out a, a tremendous amount and getting us uh, they supply us with water right now, and they just have been really helpful in getting us back on our feet and stuff. Okay, so obviously whatever they mined out, they took all the rocks and everything with it because what we have here is just an amazing base of sand that just I can't wait to ride on. Well, yeah, you're right. They, they came down 70 feet, and their waste product is our dirt product that we can use. Yeah. So uh, they took the rocks and whatnot, and all the, all the waste is what we got here in the sand. So on the upper part of the track, we're actually 70 feet deep in sand. You can go down 70 feet, and you'll never find a rock. And we hauled in all this big equipment, and down here at, in, in the pit itself, we've, uh, we've raised, elevated it with about three foot of sand. So mm -hmm. we're really going to have a nice sandy, loomy track, something that Southern California is lacking right now. Yeah, so I think that, you know, the majority of the motocross concentration in Southern California is in the Inland Empire, the 951. But the other large area is the 661 up here, uh, Upper LA County. I mean, this has got to be so exciting for everyone that lives up here. And it's going to be a great shot in the arm for the local economy, too. Yeah, we're, uh, you know, it's been real supportive. Everybody out here has just been really excited about having this come back. They've got a, you know, we've got a track out here and everyone goes to that right now. And, you know, everyone's really excited to get some elevation change and get back to the you know the kind of the roots of racing with this this kind of dirt and the open you know wide open track and you know it, it's it's going to be really exciting to have everybody be able to come out from like LA and over from you know Santa Clarita and down from Bakersfield and stuff like that so we're excited for it. Yeah, it's kind of crazy how we're, we are lower the whole track's down in this pit. It looks like you go up a little bit on the uh, the north side. Um, man, this hole reminds me of like a Mad Max movie. I'm waiting for Tina Turner to bust out. <laughs> But uh, it's, it looks amazing, and we can't wait to get out there. Um, any uh, Anything you guys want to share about the track itself or how it's going to operate, days opening? Well, we're, like Anthony said, we're going to start off kind of slow because we want to get all the bugs out of it before we go, go all out. So we're going to start off with some private rentals, and then we'll do some, uh, some practice sessions. And then in December, we'll probably do our grand opening with a, with a Grand Prix type event. And uh, go from there. Cool. Hopefully yeah. everybody will like it. Is there a website? Yeah, what is the website? Yeah, it is uh, LACR Moto right now. So. Cool. All right, guys, thanks for having us out. And uh, congratulations on the new facility or the revised, reincarnated facility. There you go. So, uh, the Phoenix has risen, right? Yeah, the Phoenix <laughs> has risen. So thanks a lot, and uh, we look forward to us uh, spending many days out here. Okay, thanks, I hope Don. you enjoy your day.